Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm mocking this up. Any project where you've never built something before and you're kind of going from ideas in your head, you need to mock it up. You need to kind of temporarily assemble it in different stages of the thing just to make sure that it's all going to fit and that things are going to work with each other. So what I've done, uh, I'm not sure how much I talked about this, but what I want to do is I want the brakes to work on this machine, but of course nobody's in the cab to operate the pedal, so, so I need some way of, of, of putting the brakes on. So I've mounted the motor here on a pivot. So I've, I've made up this pivot plate here, and now the motor will pivot. So I'm hoping that when it's being torqued on this side of the sprocket, it's going to want to pull the motor up. And there'll be stops and there'll be springs and everything to kind of bias it there. So it's going to, it's going to sit there normally. When you take the, the torque off the motor, so the torque now comes from the wheels, it's going to pull on the bottom of the chain. And I'm hoping that the leverage between here and here is going to make it so that it wants to torque down against the springs and there'll be a master cylinder, uh, some sort of brake cylinder in here that will be squeezed when it comes down. Again, it's not going to move far. It's going to move, you know, whatever a master cylinder has to move, a quarter of an inch or, or less. And then um, it's going to apply the brake back here. So what I'm going to do, though, is, is while I'm building this and, and to... So I have to worry about whether this works or not is I'm just going to put this up I'm going to put this spacer inside. I'm going to bolt it all there because right now the mount is only these two little bolts and that's not enough. So eventually I'll weld this, the solid, when it wants it works and then I'll, uh, and, and I'll put some sort of security measures down here to hold the motor more steady but allow it to move just a little bit against the, the master cylinder. So everything's up on blocks. Um, what I'm trying to do is I want to start, you know, making sure, because this swing arm has to get installed, and it has to be in line, the sprocket at the back, in the middle, and up here all have to be aligned so the chain can go around it. So I have to now get into even assembling the wheels onto it, so I can get the axle heights, so I can get what angle everything has to go to so the chain can clear it. But I have some repairs to do first. The threads are all stripped on this mount mount for the axle. So I'm going to have to take this apart um, just well because I have it assembled backwards. I have the long side here and the short side here. And because of the way the chain is going to go, anyway, I have to flip this axle and um, fix these bolt holes here because they're all stripped out. And maybe I'll make a small video. You'll learn that in trades training. But, um, uh, but I'm going to show you what we're going to try to do to fix these holes. Hopefully they're not too bad. Okay.